Dr. Sajid here again. I'm talking about a cholera today, a condition that I'm sure you have heard about. You've read about it in the papers. You have um, seen it on television. You've uh, seen it discussed. And it is a form of uh, diarrhea. It's a form of diarrheal disease which happens or occurs in children. So I will talk about the um, causation, what causes it, uh, what are the symptoms and what happens to the child and then um, what do you do about it and is there a way of preventing it. So let's begin with what it is. It is a, a bacterial disease. I have discussed this before. There are two forms of uh, infections, one viral, the other bacterial. This one is a bacterial disease and it is caused by an organism called Vibrio cholera and it causes primarily causes after a very short interval once it gets into the body what we call the incubation period just one to two days it's very very quick and so if you get the exposure within one to two days the child starts getting uh, loose stools so the vomiting accompanies the fever is not very high but the most important part is the frequent and uh, very large volume of loose stools. They are so uh, severe that in a matter of hours, the child may become very, very weak and become what is called dehydrated and may become so sick that he is uh, fighting for his uh, health. So the characteristic thing about this is that the stools are watery and they are often described as rice water-like. So if, it's, if you look at um, rice water, it's like um, uh, very um, characteristic and the stools are very, very profuse. They are just occurring constantly and the child becomes very dehydrated. Now the uh, way to recognize this is the, uh, the, the uh, vomiting, uh, the fever is not very high and the child becomes very, very dehydrated very quickly. And the signs of dehydration are that the child becomes inactive, uh, his breathing becomes a little rapid, his skin shrivels up, has no tears, the mucous membranes become very dry, and in younger babies, the soft spot on the head becomes flat and the baby uh, or the child becomes uh, very sick. So how do you diagnose it? By running a test on the uh, stool and that is generally done by culture, although there are other ways of uh, finding out whether it is cholera or not. And what is the treatment? Well, the treatment is the treatment of dehydration. So you have to hydrate this child very quickly and this means you have to virtually pour in liquids into him. We have talked about diarrheal diseases before and we've spoken about uh, ORS or oral rehydration salt and this is what we do because the characteristic thing here is that there is a lot of loss of uh, salts in this condition. So the baby really needs a lot of uh, salt and that, is, that comes in oral rehydration salt. So that can be given by mouth but if the child is vomiting and will not take it or will vomit continuously, then it can be given intravenously and that also in very, very large volumes. Now, most of uh, our patients are very treatment-oriented and uh, med medicine-oriented. Uh, yes, there is a treatment that can be given in form of medicine. There are a few antibiotics that can be given and that um, should be given under the direction of your doctor. But more important, the hydration is what will save. If the baby gets very bad, then the, there can be very low sugar. Uh, the baby can have actually if, uh, be affected in the kidneys and can have kidney failure. And there are some instances where uh, the child may also get pneumonia. By the way, I mentioned uh, that it is uh, profound in children but generally we're talking about four or five years of age, which is the commonest age. So how do we prevent it? Now that we've spoken about the treatment, we prevent it by um, good hygiene, personal hygiene, by making sure that you do not drink water that is unclean. 
you do not eat food that is contaminated or has been sitting around and it is more common in the summer months and of course washing hands after going to the uh, toilet and before uh, taking your food. These are the basic rules and principles, a condition that can be avoided. There is a vaccine but currently that vaccine is not available and not licensed to be present in Pakistan. So avoid it and be aware of this particular condition. I hope this was of use to you and we'll come back with another condition which affects children soon.